Hello, Cecil County and the world. Welcome to Cecil.tv, Cecil Weekly. I'm your host, Rob Churnside, and it's December the 4th. We have a few announcements before we get into tonight's show, which is going to be a great show. First off, I hear a holiday jingle of Cash for Christmas. It continues in downtown Elkton. You visit the Elkton Alliance org for the rules but what you'd get is every time you buy ten dollars worth of stuff in Elkton you enter in for a drawing for cash for Christmas that's real cash for Christmas check it out on Tuesday December 5th which is tomorrow will actually be today when this airs from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 1 to 4 you can come to the Cecil County Health Department for free rapid HIV testing and hepatitis C testing the HIV test, is you get your results in a minute, and the uh, Hep C test, you get your results in about 20 minutes. Call 410-996-5100 for more information. The Cecil Wig reported today that the portion of the U.S. Route 1 between Cecil and Hartford counties will be closed to traffic on Wednesday, 12-6, beginning at 10 a.m., while Exelon works on three crest gates. And that's going to close it off for a short period of time. Uh, through the Affordable Care Act, if you want to enroll in or, or change your 2018 marketplace uh, state exchange health insurance coverage, it's important to act quickly. The 2018 open enrollment period runs from November 1st through December 15th. If you don't act by December 15th, you can't get 2018 coverage unless you qualify for a special enrollment period. And finally, I would be remiss if I didn't announce that the Punk Rock Yard sale is December 16th at that performance place on Route 213 south of Elkton, where the former Brentwood Golf Course was. I think it goes off maybe 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know what a Punk Rock Yard sale is, but I definitely intend to go and find out. And now tonight, our first guests are from Wreaths Across, Across America, are Hannah Sadler and Julia Swoboda. Welcome to Cecil.tv. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Welcome. And you were here last year, right? Yes, it's that time of year again. So, Reese Across America is December 16th. Um, in a few Saturdays from now, we'll be all gathering at St. Mary Ann's Episcopal Church to honor our veterans, um, remember the past, and teach the future. That's awesome, Julia. You said something before we got started about the reason why this is so important, what you ladies are doing. Yes. So, do you want to talk about why you? Sure. Okay. I started this when I heard about her doing Reese Across America. I kind of sat back and watched last year and see how it went. And this year, since it's her last year before she goes to college, I decided to shadow her to then take it over next year to pass the torch on to someone else. So, you're kind of like an intern now, as it were. Yes. So, and. It's my understanding that you both actually lay the wreaths on the graves at St. Mary Ann's. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. So um, we have a formal ceremony which begins promptly at noon where we'll have a speaker and um, we'll give a kind of a speech. We're going to share it this year on the um, theme of Wreaths Across America, which this year is I am an American, yes I am. And um, during that ceremony we also have seven members of the armed forces who will be laying ceremonial wreaths. And um, following the ceremony, there is the placement of wreaths on the graves of fallen veterans in St. Mary Ann Cemetery. So all are welcome to attend the event and um, remember our veterans. It's so important because oftentimes the deceased veterans are the ones who are forgotten. Um, we yes, were yeah. I know we were talking earlier, we have a Revolutionary War veteran. We all know like nobody's coming to their grave you know, to lay a wreath. So. It's very important that we still honor their sacrifice for and our that's country. that's December the 16th? Yes, December 16th at noon at St. Mary Ann's Episcopal Church in Northeast Maryland. Great. Well, thank you both for your, your dedication to this project and, and not forgetting veterans. This will be your last year going off to college. Now, now where, uh, Julie, are you headed? Do you know yet? I'm not sure yet. Still waiting to hear, but um, hoping that wherever I go, I can kind of take wreaths across America with me hoping to um, open a new location kind of near my college. So nice. that'll be interesting. And Hannah knows next year she can call me, email <laughs> me, any time of day. I'll respond back to her and um, we'll do it. We'll plan it. So. so the baton is being passed from Tome to Elkton. Yes. yes. Awesome. Well, that's a great event and thank you for your dedication. 
Thank you for having us. Thank you.